watching you. All right, let's start. Arms up, fingertips up, arm circles. Again, for those of you who are in the house, watch what you say and who you say about because you're going to be on YouTube. Don't be talking crap. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, don't be talking crap about your kid. <laughs> Which is within your rights, by all means. But. I just won't say his name. <laughs> his. Her. Her. It's, it's name. Fingertips down, big circles. About 10 to 15 backwards, 10 to 15 forward. Then we're going to do alternating back and forth 10 times. And then we're going to go both hands back to front 10 times. All I hear is crack, 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 crack. My shoulders popping side to side 10 times. So take a nice deep breath in, reach up, right hand, grab the left wrist, pull to the right side. And then reach up tall, grab the other wrist, pull to the other side. Reach up nice and tall, forward fold, cross the arms, let your head and shoulders hang heavy, tucking your chin to your chest. And breathe into the low back. Come all the way back up. Reach overhead. Grab the left wrist again. Pull to the right side. Reach up nice and tall. Pull to the other side. Reach up nice and tall. Forward fold again, cross the arms. And this time we're gonna sway side to side. Getting the elbows outside the knees or legs, depending on how far your elbows and arms are down. Some of you might be that here. This might be your flexibility. Some of you may be all the way down. Swaying side to side here. All right, go ahead and plant those hands on the ground. Take a step back into plank. And we're slowly going to lower ourselves, pinching our uh, elbows to the side. Slowly lower yourself to the ground. Come up into an up dog or cobra. Flip your toes. Downward dog. And then pedal it out here. So drive that right heel down, left heel down. Going side to side. Shift back to plank, and then back to downward dog. Back to plank, back to downward dog. One more time, back to plank, back to downward dog. Now, come way up on your toes, and then as you drive your heels to the ground, push your chest towards your toes. Getting a little extra stretch in the hamstrings. We're gonna do that five times. And then we're gonna walk our feet up to our hands. Coming all the way back up. And then this time we're gonna uh, grab behind our head here. And don't pull on your neck, just put, place your hands behind your head. And we're gonna do 15 good mornings, all right? So drive those hips back. And stand up nice and tall 15 times.
Now we're gonna step back into a reverse lunge. Hands to the ground. Into our runner's lunge. And then hang out in this position here. Take a nice deep breath in. Let those hips sink down. So letting that stretch happen in the hip flexors and the groin. Now plant that left hand on the ground, reach up to the right, come down, reach up to the left, straighten that front leg, lift the toe, and then back into your lunge. Reach up to the right, reach up to the left, straighten the leg, lift the toe. You got two more of those. Reach up, reach up, straighten and lift. One more time. Plant the hands on the ground. Slide that foot back into plank. Slowly lower yourself to the ground. Up dog or cobra. Flex your, or flip your toes, not flex your toes. Push back into downward dog. Walk your feet up to your hands. Roll it up. Okay, now step back with your other leg. Okay, so step back with that right. Bring those hands to the ground into the runner's lunge. And breathe here, breathe into that groin, breathe into the hip flexors. Plant that right hand on the ground, reach up to the left. Slowly bring that hand down, reach up to the right. Straighten that front leg, lift the toe. Back into your lunge. Reach up. Reach up. Straighten. And lift. Two more times here. Reach up. Reach up. Straighten. Lift. Reach up. Reach up. Straighten, lift, back into that lunge, plant the hands on the ground, take a step back into plank, slowly lower to the ground, up dog or cobra, flip the toes, downward dog, walk the feet to the hands, and slowly roll up, all right, shake those arms out. All right, so for we're gonna we're gonna go into our we're gonna go directly into our conditioning piece. So we're gonna practice that stuff first. So we're gonna grab a couple of dumbbells, okay? Um, anywhere from ten to twenty pounds, okay? I have twenty fives here. I think that's gonna be plenty challenging enough, especially how I'm feeling today. I wouldn't recommend going over twenty five. Um, unless you're just feeling really frisky Because um, everything we're gonna be doing 150 reps of everything today Okay We have sit-ups if you have ab mass sit-ups on hand You can use those if not then just have a mat downs when you're doing your sit-ups If you have a jump rope on hand and you want to jump rope go ahead and grab your jump rope If not, we have switch foot jump modifications for that. All right so we have modifications for everything. <clears throat> so if everyone has their weight, we're gonna go through this. And while we're going through it, I want you to follow along with me so that you can kind of get into the flow of the workout, all right? So go ahead and grab your weights. And I'm gonna go from the side here so everyone can see the form. We're gonna have the weights turned in front of us. Shoulders are pulled back and down. Soften those knees. Drive your hips back into a deadlift position, coming just below the knees, then stand and squeeze your butt at the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and do five reps here. And when you're done, we're gonna set the weights to the side, come down to the ground, 
And then depending on what you have, I'm, I'm going to put my feet together, knees apart, and I'm going to lay back, come all the way and sit up and touch the ground in front of me. All right, so we're going to do 10 reps here. I may have to check my um, yeah, I think so. volume. Hold on. Let me see something. No, it's out. You guys hear me? It's on. Okay. Make sure it's on. All right. And then come to your feet, grab your weights. And we're going to do six reverse lunges, three on each leg. So we're just going to step back, tap the knee to the ground, and stand. And we're going to alternate here. And then set that weight down. And then we're going to get into our switch foot jumps ten times. Okay, so that's our flow. We're going to do deadlifts, then we're going to do sit-ups, then we're going to do lunges, then we're going to do our jump rope or switch foot jumps. Okay, so rep scheme. We're starting off with 50 of everything. And then once we finish a round, we're going to do 40 of everything. Then we're going to do 30 of everything then 20 of everything, then 10 of everything. All right, so we're trying this. It's the first time I'm doing a four-time workout on the call, okay? So whenever you're, you go at your pace through the workout, I'm gonna continue to call the movements out to you, give you some coaching cues, and then continue to work through the work, okay? It might take you 20 minutes, it might take us 25 minutes, it might take some people 35 minutes. Okay, it all depends on where you are. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna dive right in. All right, so go ahead and grab your weight. We'll start this clock over here. So we're going in 10 seconds here. We're starting off with our deadlifts. And go. So we're not flying through our deadlifts. We're taking our time. Two seconds down. We have 150 deadlifts. If you go too fast, your back's gonna tighten up on you. And then tomorrow you're going to be cussing me out. Focus on keeping that back nice and flat. Shoulders are pulled back. We're doing a lot of reps here. Every time, every time you go down, drive those hips back so you feel it in your hamstrings.
when you're done. 50 sit-ups. So you're either touching the ground in front of your toes or touching your toes. Not your heels. This isn't it. All the way up. I lost count. <laughs> we'll call this one 10. We got 50 on this first round here. Everything. Deadlifts, sit ups, reverse lunges. Once you're done, on your feet, and we have 50 reverse lunges. Now, you may be able to do mo all, most, half, or some with your weights. Try to do as many as you can with your weights, okay? Yay, lunges. So we're going to our jump ropes next for switch foot jumps. It's 50 double unders for 100 singles. All right, same thing for switch foot jumps. Double the reps.
Practice. 40 reps of everything. We're going to 40 reps. Back to your deadlifts. After your 40 deadlifts, back to 40 sit-ups. It's almost like a workout. After your 40 setups, you're back to your feet for 40 lunges. Reverse lunges. Everyone keep their chest up on their lunges here. You don't want to be hunched over doing your lunges. You'll feel it in your back later. After this, you'll be going back to your jump rope. That can't stay the same. Everything goes down. So yeah, 40 double unders, 
for 80 singles. Thirty that left. Round of thirty. After 30 deadlifts, 30 sit-ups. Once you're done with your 30 sit-ups, 30 lunges. You don't want your 30 lunges, 30 double lunges, or 30, 60 singles. Round of 20.
deadlifts, 20 sit-ups. After your 20 setups, 20 of the challenges. Double unders or 40 singles. Ten double unders, twenty singles, and you're done. And then rest a minute or two before you do your bicep curls and upright rows. Still going, just keep chucking away, grinding away at the workout. It's your pace, your speed, your modifications, your workout. So, when we get to your dumbbell bicep curls and upright rows, we'll be doing 10 to 12 reps, rest 30 seconds. 10 to 12 reps, rest about a minute, and we have three sets in, okay? I'm gonna rest another minute or so before I start. Huh? Probably. If you're done, awesome job. If not, keep chipping away at the workout. If you're with us on YouTube, Later in the day, another day, you need time to finish. Pause the video right now, finish up your workout, and then hit play to do your strength work. And cool down. Don't go away from our tempo. Don't, just because it's not up there, we're still curling up and then slowly lowering down, controlling that weight, not letting it control us.
and you'll rest about 30 seconds between your bicep curls and your upright rows. And the upright rows still have a three second tempo as well. So we drive the elbows up and then slowly lower down. 10 to 12 reps. You'll rest about a minute after the upright rows before you go back to your bicep curls. One set down, two to go. It's like a puddle over here. Susan, it's good to have you back. How was the beach? First time you get that one plant the wrong way though. I battled Achilles strain slash tear for two years. But I never never truly let it heal. If you have lighter weight and you don't feel challenged at 12 reps, add three or four more reps onto it, no more than 20. But if you're stuck at home with weight that you can't add to or go up on, add reps, keep the tempo, add reps to get the kind of work that you're trying to get in. I don't even know if that made sense. It just kind of came out in fatigue. To get the kind of work you're trying to get in. Complete sense. <laughs> Susan's like, mm -hmm. uh, nope. <laughs> Our minimum reps is 10 here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. 
One more set. Uno más. We're all going to be at different places where we are time-wise and stuff, so make sure you have a clock on hand. Arms are dead. Ten more reps, and we get to stretch it out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do as far as stretching goes, we're going to come down to a tabletop position, flip our hand fingertips around facing us, and then we're going to lean back, and we're going to stretch the biceps and forearms out. Hmm. Held weight for a long time, a lot of grip. It's not raining in here, that's just uh, my sweat dripping on the mat. And then coming out of this stretch, we're going to lean forward, take some pressure off the wrists and the forearms, flip your, onto your back of your hands here, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Not putting too much pressure on the back of the hands, but just keeping the back of the hands flat on the ground and then sitting your butt back and stretching the opposing muscles here. back into tabletop. Go through about five cat cows here. So make sure those knees are up underneath, underneath the hips. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. And then on your exhale, you want to bring the hips towards your, well, you're crunching your hips in and pressing your spine up, pressing your hands into the floor. And then back into your cow. 
driving the hips back and then back to your cat. Here you can do some C shapes, going side to side, stretching out the QL, relax. And then when we're done with our cat cows, we're going to come into child's pose. So we're going to tent our hand, taking some pressure off the shoulders so we can sit those hips down. Holding here for another 30 seconds or so. If you need to stretch to the right and the left, you can go ahead and go out to the right. Right hand on top, left hand on top, stretching the lats out. If they're not very tight, then you can just come back to the middle and hang out. And then we're gonna slowly shift back up into tabletop. And then we're gonna go into our pigeon. Bring your left knee in between your hands and your left foot as high as you can get it. Slide the right leg back a little bit. You can hang out into this position right here. Move your hips from side to side and find out where the tension is before we walk it down onto our elbows and or possibly laying your forehead on the ground and reaching out in front of you, depending on what where you are, how much tension you feel, don't go beyond what you can handle. I've been doing this every, every day, Susan, since you left. I'm, <laughs> able to get, I'm finally able to get my head, forehead on the ground. <laughs> Your pigeon can sleep. I don't know about Mine that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Take three more deep breaths here. Take a nice deep breath in. Big exhale. Two more of those. One more. And then walk it up. Slide that foot back into tabletop. And then bring the right up. Walk it up, pull it up, get it up there, however you can. Now this side, on the other hand, this may be a different story. So from here, start to sink in a little bit. After all these deadlifts and lunges, you're gonna wanna take care of your hip and your booty. There we go. So once we make it down as far as we can, we're going to take about 10 to 15 deep breaths. And then when that stretch starts to go away, you can walk it up, slide back into your tabletop, and then possibly end up back into a child's pose just to see, just to test the difference of the two here. No tension anymore, feeling pretty good. I'm done for the day. 
So I'm gonna continue to let them stretch. You can continue to stretch if you want. Thanks for joining us once again to everybody. I'm done, I'm out.